Hello gamers of the internet. Today Valve releases the specs on the prototype Steam Box. Before I go into more detail, I'd like to discuss a contest I'm running right now. To have a chance to win a free Steam Box, leave a comment saying Steam, like this video, and subscribe. The comment the contest will be over when this video reaches 2,000 likes. I will personally message the winner. So the Steam Box specs are kind of vague and list many different versions of the CPU and GPU. Overall, the lowest Steam Box uh specs are still better than the xbox one and ps3 the cost of the steam box hasn't been released yet but i assume it will cost more just based on the specs and i've been looking at other videos and the comments continue to say that if it uses the highest end specs it would be at least a thousand dollars which is going to be double or maybe triple the price of the xbox one or ps uh four i said ps3 earlier sorry i meant ps4 um so yeah, the specs are as followed. Um, there's about 300 prototype units, though, right now with the following components. The GPU is either going to be an NVIDIA Titan, which people are saying costs at least $1,000. So that would be what I'm talking about with the highest end. Uh, the NVIDIA Titan's about three to four times as strong as the GPU in the Xbox One and PS4. So this would be able to compete with the current gen... Uh, computers, because people keep saying the computer master race, etc., where computers are better just be based on specs and you can build them in yourself and they'll run everything a lot better with higher um, FPS, which everyone cares about. Uh, some will have the GTX 780, which this is using NVIDIA graphic, card, graphic cards, which I have a huge fascination with, an NVIDIA, with NVIDIA. I use the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 650, which I'm very happy with. Uh, sometimes, uh, when I looked it up before, it performs better than the 660, which doesn't make sense, but I personally like it. Uh, some will have the GTX 760 and some the GTX 660. All four of those are better than the GPU in the PS4 and Xbox One. So no matter which one, even the lowest end, if they go with that, it would still be better. What I think they're going to do is do four versions of the steam box at different prices just like a computer and you'll be able to choose what specs you want it seems like that might be a better choice for them which valve is a huge company anyway so the cpu some boxes will come with an intel i7 4770 which is also a better cpu than the xbox one and ps4 again the some will have i i5 4570 which is also still better than the cpu in the xbox one and ps4 and then some will have an i3 still better than the xbox one and ps4 so even at its lowest end in the cpu it's still better now to look at the ram xbox one and ps4 both had eight gigabytes of ddr3 1600 ram this will have 16 gigabytes of ddr3 1600 ram that's for the cpu the G um the gpu will have three gigabytes maybe one dedicated they haven't listed here i told you it's kind of vague so it would most likely be one uh, one gig of dedicated video memory and then um, two gigabytes of regular so it might be just three regular I'm not sure but it says three gigabytes of GD GDDR5 uh, RAM which is the best kind you can get uh, it comes with a one terabyte storage which is comparable to computers nowadays which is exactly what people are looking for with a uh, console they don't want to have to buy a new storage like the old Xbox um, so I'm not sure how the Xbox handles its storage, but I'm sure that it'll be something similar where you have to buy an extra cartridge and all that. Um, then the the uh, Steam Box has an SSHD, which uh, if anyone knows anything about um, solid state drives, basically it's a faster performing uh, like storage. So instead of it being slow but being able to hold tons of uh, storage, it has uh, less. So it'll have eight gigabytes, but it runs really quickly. So they'll probably put like the software, the normal booting up stuff, and uh, that will make when you start your system, it'll literally just turn on instantly. Hopefully, that's that's the hope. Uh, their power supply is an internal 450 watt, 80 plus gold. Uh, being internal, this is similar to the PS4, how they have theirs internal, but the Xbox one has it outside so that's also to what people want this might be a pretty hot system they'd need fans and stuff for it or water cooling uh the dimensions are uh one foot by 12.4 inches by 2.9 inches high so this is a pretty small uh steam box i think it's the smallest console out of all of them 
and this has got me really excited if this isn't a super high price like people are saying and somehow they are able to do it at like cost it would this would be incredible and it would destroy the other consoles no problem because this also comes with um the entire steam library supposedly so you'll get all the steam games which is incredible like on its own right there it's worth it um supposedly also they've released some console uh some controller specs which i might pull up right now um as you see the controller has uh no joysticks it has a more of a touchpad feel where i'm not sure what they call it but once you touch in, in a spot it can recognize and it's more of like a pad instead of a joystick uh me personally i like my iphone and i really like touchscreen and i think this is a good direction um having two spots is different than how you play on an iphone so it will work better it's an actual controller it's not on your screen blocking your view like how the uh, apps are for uh, iphones so you can't really compare the touchscreen it's going to work amazing and i think it's better than joysticks it might feel weird at first but you'll get used to it i think um that's all for the controller um what else is there? So yeah, this is basically going to be a living room console that hopefully will destroy the other consoles and offer more. And this won't be coming out till after Christmas, which is a huge mistake by Valve. But supposedly there's a running joke with Valve where Valve is always late. So this is as it's expected that this is going to happen. Um, it's pretty exciting though. I, c I cannot wait to see what they do with this because this is only the prototype also so we'll see what they actually decide to put in. If they have four consoles, three consoles, we'll see what the pricings are too. I'm really interested to find out what the prices are but if they do end up putting a Titan in it, it should be over a thousand dollars which is going to make them lose in the battle because people will say, well why can't I just get an Xbox One or PS4 which runs every game I want at 60 FPS and doesn't cost a thousand dollars right also how xbox one and ps4 have all the big titles and how ps4 helps for small uh, indie de developers we'll see how valve competes with this it'll be pretty interesting to see hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to enter the contest